We appreciate your presence and on behalf of the global leadership team led by Lion Judy King, MJF, assisted by Lion Past Council Chair Sherwin Greenwich, PMJF, and myself, Lion Diana Angol, MJF. I extend a refreshing welcome to everyone. Special welcome to all the distinguished lions who are here with us this evening. I wish you, everyone, a productive session tonight. Because in tonight's session, we focus on the club communications slash marketing chairperson. And without further ado, I wish to introduce our facilitator, Lion Jamel Scott, MJF. Lion Jamel is the Marketing and Communications Coordinator for Region 3. He has been a member of the Lions Club of Barbados South for the past nine years. He has served as president from 2018-2019 with the motto, Change Nothing and Nothing Changes. He has chaired and served on many committees and is always willing and ready to serve his club when requested. This is the first and hopefully not the last time that he is serving at the district level. He is grateful for the opportunity to have worked with a great team headed by Lion Beatrice, the Marketing and Communications Coordinator. Lion Jamel holds a Bachelor's in Computer Science, a double degree, and has worked as a computer programmer analyst. He is presently an IT coordinator for over a decade in the financial industry. I turn you over now to Lion Jamel. Thank you very much for that introduction, Lion Diana. You can hear me? Yes, you can. Your mic is. Okay, you can see my screen? Yes, we can, and we can hear you. Okay. Thank you very much for the introduction, Land Diana. Land Judy King, MJF. Land Judy King, MJF. Um, District 6 to be Global Leadership Team Coordinator and her team, distinguished lands in the virtual audience, fellow lands, Leos and guests. Good evening. I am Jamel Scott, the Marketing and Communication Assistant Core Coordinator for Region 3, and I will be doing a presentation on Marketing and Communication Chairperson. As the Marketing and Communication Chairperson's role, you play a dynamic role in your club. In this exciting position, you will inspire and motivate new and current members, increase your club's visibility in the community, and increase the impact of your projects and membership initiatives. By the end of this presentation, you will be prepared for your role as marketing and communication chairperson. I will help you to understand your role and responsibilities, teach you how to promote your and improve your club's image, and show you where you can get additional help or information. First, we start by defining what is public relations. Public relations is the process of creating, promoting, or maintaining goodwill and a favorable, favorable image among the public towards an institution, public body, such as a service club. Or, in simple terms, public relations is about sending the right message to the right place and the right people, creating a stronger brand reputation. These are some of the tools of good public relations. Good public relations involves all forms of communication, verbal and nonverbal, social and electronic media, writing news releases, distribution of flares and publications, selling event tickets, holding press conferences, wearing our lens pins, and participating in parades. The roles and responsibilities of the marketing and communication chairperson to shine a light on your service. Be sure to let the community know about your service, projects, fundraisers, and community events. 
tell your stories. Let's have some of the greatest stories. We all have various backgrounds, professions, and experiences to share. Promote your membership events. You must promote your membership events to get support and participation. Every service project, project and club event is an opportunity to find new members. Getting started as marketing communication chairperson. First, you must identify your team. You must find persons with unique skills, such as editing, writing, or IT. Then you must prepare a, a budget, a, prepare a plan. Develop a media plan, identify exactly what stories you have to tell. Then prepare a budget. While most social media platforms offer free time, there are financial components that will help you to, uh, to boost your image and therefore we should budget to take advantage of, the, of these. And then lastly, set goals and objectives. We want to set smart goals to, to make sure your goals are clear and reachable. Each one should be smart, specific, well-defined, clear and unambiguous, measurable with specific criteria that measure your progress towards the accomplishment of that goal in mind, achievable, attainable and not impossible to achieve, relevant, within reach, realistic and relevant to your club, timely, with a clearly defined timeline, including a starting and ending date. The purpose is to create urgency. Next, we need to determine our audience. Your audience is the group of people in the public who would be interested in your news items. The primary audience can include current members, prospective members, local media, community members, and other local organizations. Then you must determine what is news, newsworthy. Newsworthiness is whether or not a topic is of interest for persons to read or need to know about. It's the first thing the marketing and communication team considers before pitching a story or drafting a press release. To determine what is newsworthy, ask yourself, would a non lion find this interesting or useful? Get involved early in planning of lens projects to determine their PR potential. Decide which activities are unique and may be of interest to the media. These are a few examples of what are newsworthy and what aren't. Enhance your community, your local community, such as parks and school programs. Involve the general public or other community groups, such as fundraisers. Perform a public service, such as health screening or drug abuse education. Service projects in community groups, such as the visually impaired, disabled, and elderly. Youth programs, such as the Lens International Peace Poster Contest and scholarships. And last but not finally, checks the presentation of checks to other groups or organizations or, or, or on behalf of a cause. How do I share Lance messages with the public? These are some of the public relation tools that we'll be going through the next few slides. Either by the media, public service announcements, press releases, the club fact sheet, interviews and public speaking, promotional material, photographs, the Lens magazine, websites, and social media platforms. Contacting the media. First, you need to create a media list of all your local media, such as newspapers, TV stations, and radio stations. Build relationships with media contacts in advance, and then ask them how they want to receive this information. You must be persistent and continue to look for good stories that make land stories newsworthy. At the end of the day, every land story will not be published or broadcast. Next, you have public service announcements, or PSAs. Public service announcements are brief messages aired on radio and television stations as a community service. They must benefit the community not just your club, for example, describing the warning signs of diabetes or encouraging healthy eating. As a general reminder, a public service announcement should be a 10 seconds part, with approximately 20 words, or it could be a 30 seconds part with approximately 65 words. Public service announcements need to 
get the listener's attention. Show how listeners will benefit from doing what you see here, and also tell listeners where to go, what to do, when to do it, and where to call for more information. A press release. When submitting a press release, we use the inverted pyramid. The first section will include the most important pieces of information. They answer these questions here. What is happening? When it is happening? Why it is happening? Who is in charge? And where it is happening? The next step will provide secondary details, such as quotations, quotes from the presenters, and any further explanations. And then the final part, the additional information, the final part, it will list all the times, dates, if applicable, and some information about the club and our Lens International, and who should be contacted for clarific further clarification. These are some basic press release guidelines. At least two weeks before your event, ensure you distribute news releases to editors, reporters, and news directors on your media. List who cover, <coughs> excuse me, at least two weeks before your event, distribute news releases to editors, reporters, and news directors on your media, on your media list, who cover your particular type of story. Follow up with each media outlet one week before the event. And last, offer to answer questions and be ready to outline photo opportunities. Some more basic press release guidelines are, be positive and enthusiastic in explaining why the audience will be interested in your story. Follow a standard press release format. Download the, you can download a pre-formatted fill in the blank sample press release from the Lens LC website. This is an example of a, a project where we had, we invited um, three media houses and we partnered with another organization and prepared to prepare food hampers during the, um, the lockdown. You see persons here wearing their masks. On this occasion, we had three media houses and, and this is one of the articles that, were, that was written in the paper on the following day. Within the article, you can see lens wearing their regalia and the questions that we mentioned earlier, the who, what, where, when and how are inside the first paragraph. You can see more Barbadians are in need of assistance because of COVID-19 and president of the Lands Club of Barbados South, Desmond Sands is calling on these who can assist, those on who can assist to do so. Sands was speaking during a press conference yesterday at the Christ Church Parish Church Center where the Lands Club Outreach Feeding Program has partnered with the Christ Church Parish Church Social Outreach Ministry to prepare 17 hampers. You can see the, the most important part of the of the of the press release is the first power is the first power first two or three paragraphs, and if you go over to the third column, you see the least important information, but still important to us as lions. The Lions Club is in its 45th year and is working under the team. Service is selfless. Continue to make a difference through kindness. So this is an example of a press release. Next, we move on to a club fact sheet. A club fact sheet will provide background information about your club to reporters. Include a fact sheet with all press releases. You can also use fact sheets as handouts during community events. Every time you have an event, there are persons asking, who are the lands? What do the lands do? How can I join the lands? And if you have a club fact sheet, then you could have the persons are asking questions could be potential members or might know persons who might need our help sometime in the future. But a club fact sheet is an exciting and a good idea that persons could undertake. We go on to interviews and public speaking. An appropriate club sports person should be prepared to provide accurate information with enthusiasm and confidence. Tips for a successful interview, know your facts. You should be ready to expand upon the who, what, when, where, why, and how stated in the, in the media material. The same questions we keep, we keep hearing all over again. The who, what, when, where, why, and how. 
then you must prepare key message points. Rather than answer a question with a simple yes or no, use the interviewer's questions as a bridge to, to your key messages. Practice answering lengthy questions prior to the interview. Review the association's key messages on the LCA website and adapt them to, to fit your mess club's messages. Give short, clear responses. Mention your main points early in the interview in a few brief, clear sentences. If you do not know the answer to a question, offer to find out the answer and follow up immediately. Some additional points to know when doing interviews and public speaking. Mention your club's name often. Avoid saying I or we. You should always mention your club's name. Watch what you say. Never give off the record comments. Dress appropriately. Wear your lens pin and your regalia. Smell. Be conversational. Let the reporter see that you enjoy being a lion. Next, we have printed promotional material or posters. Printed materials are printed materials for promoting your event should answer who, what, when, where, and why. Same questions we hear all the time from the beginning presentation until now. These include flyers, bulletins, newsletters, etc. You should use a bold, easy to read font or typeface. Include your club's name, contact information, and the lens logo. Also, you can have club members post flyers and posters throughout your area. You can even ask local businesses or government agencies to have them available for customers. Okay. Next, we have some examples of posters. The first, the first poster. This is our event that is, as, as is, is yet to come. is gonna is gonna happen the twenty first of uh, May. Um, the landscape of St. Michael. They have they having a curbside fundraiser event. And if you look here, you will see the information on the bottom left hand corner. The, the you see the date, and you see the location, you see the time, and you see the cost. And then directly to the bottom of the poster, you will see contact persons are and have the name of the lions that you reach out to and their contact information. So this poster is a, a perfect example of how a poster should, how a poster should be. It should grab, it should reach out to you, it should make you want to go to the event, or it should make you want to read it. And the other two posters, this is of a, a variety concert that was held a few years ago by the um, Bridgetown Lens, which is in 2018. And then the last poster is of uh, the Lens Cent Centennial Zone Health Fair, which was held in 2017. So these posters answer some of the questions that we, that we want to know. The who, what, where, and when. And then some contact information and dates and what's not. But post, these are how posters should be, or how they should look. Some free advertising there for the St. Michael Club. <laughs> Next, we move on to photographs. A picture is worth a thousand words. Photos can be used to enhance your publications and press releases. They can limit the number of people and don't include, and, but you try not to include too much background in a picture. It's okay to have a picture of you and whoever persons, but when you look at the background, you shouldn't have persons walking around or you shouldn't have, the background shouldn't be busy. Next, you can take a lot of pictures and select the best shot. The best decision is to take as much pictures you take five six pictures and then you take the best picture from out of that out of that set okay next you move on to you must ensure they are action photos make sure that the lens are doing something or persons something is happening in the pictures you want to have pictures with person just sitting or standing there have photos with somebody giving somebody something giving a certificate donating a check um, planting a tree have those sort of action photos and then you can submit your photos to international headquarters using the submit a photo Farm on the Lens LCA web website. Next, we have some an example of uh, uh, some good and bad pictures. You must light, uh, light and focus are the key to great photography. Taking photos outside in daylight is always recommended, as daylight floods your image with natural light and makes details easy to see. Framing your subject is also an important part of taking a good photo. We don't only take photos for publicity, but also as also to capture memories, moments, 
and to tell our personal stories. This first picture is, was taken, is taken, is taken yearly by each incoming board. And this, all of the incoming officers for that particular year usually take a group photo together. And we usually place this photo on our Facebook, Facebook page. So you could go to the Lions Club South Facebook page and you will see a picture of the, the current year, but this was a picture of from three, um, three, year, three, four years ago. You have the president in the center, you have the secretary, and Tristan and Lent went to her left and right, and the other board members in this picture. But every year we try to take a picture. So this is, this is a, a reflection. The next picture, this is from a service project we did during this land, land list year. And we went to, into the community and we, we um, give, give out seedlings and, 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 and pots and dirt and what's not to individuals in the community. And this was um, well received. This was fe also featured inside the, the newspaper. You can see me standing up here behind the, the president and next to Lant Owen telling, telling me a joke. And then we have another photograph which tells memories. At every club meeting, we take birthday and anniversary pictures. So each meeting, the, um, the, the, the birthday or anniversary persons, they usually come, they sit at the front of the, they sit at the front and everyone gets up and sing the birthday song and maybe say one or two good or bad things about them. But we have countless pictures in stock. And last, we usually take pictures of our raffle winners. So every, every meeting when we have raffle winners, we take pictures. Um, the time, when I first joined the club, I somehow became a designated photographer. So I have hundreds of pictures on my phone going back um, a number of years. And also as, as designated photographer. I also sit on the marketing communication committee in my club. But I'm also a designated photographer and being a photographer, I'm also I'm always invited to different events that the other community committees are planning and I'm required to take pictures. So I might only sit on I might sit on one committee, but the invitation from all the other committees on service projects, I usually go to take pictures and then post on the club's Facebook page or send around to the TLANs who want the pictures to keep personally. Next, we move on to the Lens Magazine. Behind every project that a Lens club takes on, there's a story to be told. There are stories filled with challenges, hope, and the joy of serving others. The Lens Magazine brings those stories to life so we can inspire the world through the power of service. Some do's for submitting stories to the Lens Magazine. Submit detailed information. You see the same questions again, who, what, when, where, why, and how. See how much money was raised and the purpose. You must include clear, candid action photographs of lands participating in the project. You must be sure to include the country's name and where your club is located. And this is the email magazine at landsclub.org. And then we have some don'ts. Don't submit news of club anniversaries, charter nights, or birthdays. Don't rely on your yearly activities report only to publicize your club's activities. Don't staple or write on photos. And don't forget to identify people in photos. Online communications. Online communications is about us. It's about our story us as lions and the people we support and people who need our help. But there's no reason not to do our best to go beyond to promote our service and engagement and to make sure we, we achieve maxim the maximum impact of lionism. Websites. Websites and social networking sites are excellent ways to let people know about your club. You can use the Lens eClubhouse to create a club website with easy to use templates and free hosting. These, these are some of the sections that you would find in a regular website. You can have audio recordings, you can have links to other locations or other websites with information. You can have contact information, you can have the club contact information and the club location. You can have articles, um, your own news articles and, and with pictures that you put that, um, that you post. You can also have an interactive blog. And then you can also post, have a section with only videos from different events or activities that you might have taken part in as a club. Social media platforms. 
there are a lot of great social media platforms that can help you promote your club. But Facebook is the biggest. If your club doesn't have a Facebook page, now is the perfect time to create one. It's a great way to promote projects and events and share photos and connect with members, potential members and partner clubs. And Facebook. Facebook is one of the most recognizable social media platforms in the world. With nearly 2.7 billion monthly active users, which is more than a third of the world's population. Founded in, on February 4th, 2004, Facebook has consistently evolved through the years to fit the needs of its users and attract new ones. This includes the acquisition of Instagram and WhatsApp. A lot of persons don't know that Facebook owns WhatsApp and also owns Instagram. WhatsApp for messaging, Facebook, pictures. Instagram has a billion monthly active users and is a mobile platform like Facebook. But Instagram offers targeted advertising options to help businesses, business users to reach a specific user. Instagram also offers a various posting options, including photos, videos, live shows, stories, and live streams. Then there's WhatsApp. Which is, pop, which is a popular mobile messaging app with over 2 billion monthly active users. You can use it to send images, text, documents, audios, and video content to other users individually or in groups. Back to Facebook, <laughs> you are more than 65 million businesses using Facebook pages and more than 6 million advertisers actively promoting their business on Facebook which makes it a pretty safe bet if you want to have a presence on social media. It's easy to get started on Facebook because almost all content formats, such as texts, images, videos, live videos, and stories can all be posted on Facebook. With over 100 social media sites in existence, each one offers a uniqueness to it, maybe by country, region, or might, be specific, or might be specific in nature, such as only for videos, articles, pictures, or making friends, or following music. At this time, I'll just pause and ask persons if they can identify any of these, any of these um, icon, um, logos for, these, for the various social media platforms. Yes, we can. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Say LinkedIn and Twitter. <laughs> so that's I see Pinterest. TikTok. <laughs> Vimeo, yeah. TikTok, Pinterest, Pinterest. Snapchat, Snapchat. Um, Vimeo, that, uh, that's what the V is, I think it is. Yeah, Vimeo. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. All right, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, I forgot uh, what the, the, the yellow ghost one was. I can't remember what I've been That's not Snapchat, yes, that's, it is. That's, that's Snapchat? Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. The big B. The the is that Reddit? Yes, please, it is. Ah, okay, okay. All right, gotcha. And what about the one with the two dots? Anyone? Flickr, something like that. Is it Flickr? Yes, it, it is. Flickr. Okay. Flickr, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's great. <laughs> Okay, we have Tumblr, a blogging platform that allows several different post form formats. You can either include quotes, chats, videos, photos, and even audio content. I can remember that one. <laughs> and then we have um, TikTok, which most persons should know. The, uh, this app lets a user create short, creative videos. And then we have Vimeo, a professional video platform is similar to YouTube. But every, everyone has their, um, their choice of which one they could use. But a lot of professional persons use Vimeo, Vimeo as an alternative to YouTube for posting professional content. Then there's Snapchat, a mobile messaging social media platform. A user can share one-time content with friends or post stories that go out to all the, the other um, users and followers. And you have Reddit. A social news and entertainment website with tons of sub communities dedicated to specific interests. Then there's Flickr, a platform for sharing photos and videos. You have Pinterest, 
Pinterest is one part social media site, one part search engine. They consist of digital bulletin boards where a user can see products, project ideas, and inspirational images. Then you have LinkedIn, which a lot of persons know, uh, <laughs> a social media site for professional networking. Then you have Twitter, a social media site for news, entertainment, sports, politics, and more. And then finally, you have Blogger, a content management system that follows persons to create blogs to share, allow persons to create blogs to share their knowledge and experiences uh, or the latest news. And next, with all these social media platforms and public relation tools that I previously mentioned, we need to evaluate our platforms. We must ask the question, is it working? You must check analytics. In the case of, of Facebook and, and websites, there's something called analytics, which websites can provide you with the amount of persons who visited your site, the traffic. In the case, if you think of an e-commerce site, the, the amount of persons who, who purchase a particular item, um, if you have the 100 women purchase this item and only 10 men purchase the item, if um, the persons are between this age and that age, and if they buy them or, per or they visit the site between a, a certain time of the year. So all of this information, some websites, some websites or web platforms give, provide you with this information. So then you, you'll know how to cater your product or cater your advertisements. So you could in increase all advertisements to for you could advertise say to advertise more to persons in Trinidad, a person in Jamaica, St. Lucia, Saint, you could be say to advertise more to specific regions based on the analytics that you that you um, receive. And then you look for feedback. The feedback, feedback would come from persons who um who might visit the Facebook or the Twitter or the Instagram page or persons who read the newspaper. And then you must identify things that work and try to improve based on the feedback and then abandon things that don't work. You must always search for new avenues to promote your club. And as I mentioned before, there are a lot of avenues. We just went through a whole heap of them. And I'm certain that some clubs out there are just using, maybe only using Facebook or might be using Facebook and Instagram. Next, other oh, publicity ideas. There are many ways to tell your community about your Lions Club and activities. If your club is sponsoring a community event, ask to have information posted on your community website or message board. You must pass out flyers or brochures about your club and its activities. You can also display the Lens logo and club name prominently on all materials at all activity, at, of all activities and events. You must be a brand ambassador. Remind your members that each one is a brand, brand, brand ambassador and that they should wear the lens gear to show their pride. This is one of the most powerful ways to promote your lens brand. Uh, how to end fake news? First, you must ask, what is fake news? Fake news is false or misleading information presented as news. It often has the aim of damaging the reputation of a person or entity. Consider the source. Where did, where did you receive the news from? Has it been confirmed by a reliable news platform? Read beyond, look for more information before believing everything you read. Cross check. Are other reliable sites, platforms, or channels reporting on the story? So, um, messaging, don't forward every message. End the fake news cycle by not clicking forward on every message. Check the date. Videos, pictures, and articles from months or years ago may surface, but you must be wary. Don't give in to panic. Spreading panic in a time of fear is common. Follow every above step before giving into this into panic. Ignore persons um, during this pandemic. There was a lot of false news going around, and I believe there's still false, um, and, and we're not going to see the end of it. Um, sometimes I receive information, I, I, I take a look at it. Sometimes I would, I would do my own research. Uh, sometimes I, I decide not to forward the message because for some persons, some persons get information, they panic, they get anxious, and, and I don't know, it can lead to a heart attack. And too much information is sometimes not 
is not good for persons. Next, we're to get help. You get help from the, from, <clears throat> from the club, public relations chairperson guide, and also the, the marketing and communication chairperson guide, the marketing and communications and public relations commission. We are here to, we are here to support you. You have the PRLandsClub.org, the Lands Club International Resource Center, Facebook.com Learn, LandsClub.org slash marketing, and you have the LionsMail.org. And this comes the end of my presentation. I speak um, fairly quickly, so I, I hope uh, persons um, <laughs> were able to understand and, and get a drift of what I'm speaking about. Um, I just want to wish the, the incoming officers uh, the best in their new role and, and other land members who listen to the presentation, they could be brand ambassadors to the club. You should wear your regalia, regalia and should always wear the lions. You will be less pin uh, all part, possible um, events, activities, just, just really regular. Any questions at this point? I am Vernell, the most East End Lions Club. Let yes. me first of all apologize for joining late, but I did indicate that to someone today when I was asked to do the invocation. I had a family um, memorial service. Yes, no, that no ended just before it started there. So, uh, will this information be coming out to the clubs? Yeah, yes, please. The, the information would be posted on the. I, um, I think it's posted on the district on the district site. And last okay. year's last year's presentation and last year's video is still on um, YouTube. So you could always okay. take a yeah. Just go with the link we provided and the present PowerPoint presentations and any additional information that you request. Okay, thank you. I mean, I took pictures, I tried to do notes, but like I said, I came on a little late, so I wanted to make sure. Thank you very much for the presentation, though. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. um, can you put up the last page with the lions, with the sites, with the lions? Um, so, yes, that one, yes. Yes, And Jamel. Yes, please. Yeah, Landy is marvelous. Central. Uh, thanks yeah, yeah. for the presentation. I recognize the, the boy. <laughs> Pardon? I say you can't miss that voice. Okay, okay. Work it, work it. Great. Um, I, wa I want to support you on, on the, the, the point about this social media um, and in, in terms of the things that you need to put out. And um, because one, one of the things you, 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 you see sometimes, especially that point you made about photos with action, I think, I think that, 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 is, that is critical. Because sometimes, for example, you see a club um, put up pictures after an event. And let's say it's a fundraiser or whatever, whatever. And lo and behold, what, you, what you're presented with, something there are 10 photos. And eight of them are people sitting down at a table drinking or eating or something. And the question is, is, is what, you know, for, for lines, we appreciate what it is for as ever as a charter night or whatever. We, have, we as land appreciate the celebration, but for the public out there, same persons dressed in tuxedos, having drinks. The question is, was, was the relevance? Yeah. Um, I've also seen, I, I think I would have raised it at, at, a, at a Zoom meeting time, where um, I saw a club 
actually posted a photo of, of two lines of, of a line being presented with, with, with something, right? Um, there was no, there was no notes, there was no, there was nothing, just, just two lines, uh, you know, a line, a line presenting something to somebody else, to another line. Um, I was able to work out that it was, it was, this is the other thing, it was, it was a chart of egg, so there was no regalia. So here, here this person is well-dressed and stuff. And I was able to work out that here it is, there was a presentation of somebody receiving the MJF plaque. Mm -hmm. But there was no, there was no right up, there was no, no nothing. So I, I guess v lines looking at it would have guessed or, you know, do a little work out. But for the public, um, the public would have, would not have had a clue. So I'm just thinking, I just want to support your point that when, whenever we put up something, always be, bear in mind, that it is the public. What is the public looking for? How is it going to inform the public? How is it going to get them excited and stuff? Um, and I like that, that that part about you know lines, lines in action, even if they're lifting something or something. But taking a picture of, of two lines stand up talking and laughing, I um, I don't know if that that can do the trick. Yeah, uh, that's uh, my point. Yeah, thanks, Landine. Um, I be, being one the the photo the main photographer at club. When we when we do certain when we go to certain um, events after the after the, the, the praise given or after the, the ceremony or, or whatever it is that the lens um, go to help, we would have the drinks and what's not. I take two set of pictures. One set of pictures would go on, on, on Facebook and then another set of pictures, I would usually just send, send those to the, to the lens chat. I know those only hold relevant for the lens. I don't want to mm -hmm. put pictures online with lions um, sitting mm -hmm. down and relaxing and drinking drinks. I know I, I have a lot of pictures of those. Why wouldn't yeah, put those you, 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 you need you need you need you need those for tail twisting, yeah, definitely. You yeah, need to have the tail twisted there, yeah. Appreciate that. Even like um like um when we first had the when we, after we came out of lockdown last year and we took pictures, I think a lot of persons were still comfortable and and, and, and say, okay, we, we ain't got any any corona here, nobody ain't got corona. So persons were sort of being clo um were close to one another sitting down and, and talking. And mm -hmm. I took pictures. But when I posted pictures on Facebook, I decided to exclude the pictures mm -hmm. with, with, um, with persons without masks. I only placed pictures online that had masks on it because I, exactly. I don't want anybody to come across the pictures and say, look, yeah, why, exactly. why, the, exactly. yeah, why the lion's not wearing masks in any of these pictures? So you, you need to be, be careful on, on, on things that you, you, that you post. Yeah, agree, agree. Yeah, point, point taken, point taken, point taken. Yeah. One other little point I want to make. The, the, you mentioned it in terms of have bringing in public relations marketing early in terms of when you're planning a project and they believe in that strongly that um do not bring in do not bring in your, your public relation at the end when you set the date when you set whatever whatever that they should be part of so that they they can sort of advise as you know the best route to to because sometimes you only know of a, a, an event or public relations just start sending out a flyer long after the event you know just two weeks before the event comes off or whatever but i'm thinking that that you know the the, the fundraising. What whoever whoever committee it is that is working should bring in PR very early, so that PR can sort of give some advice and you know in the, in the best the best route possible, so that you know it's a team effort from beginning right through to, to the end. Yeah, yeah. grateful. When it, when it when it comes to my um to my club and we when we have the like see our yearly luncheon or we have um the chart night or something so the lens would say okay yeah Jamel we know you're you're great with the, the, the posters and what's not so they come to me and I would do a poster or sort of advertise the the luncheon or to send to the other clubs and what's not and and those that 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 sort of stuff you need to find persons with the with the specific talent talent for it but is is lens <laughs> Being, being uh, of the what you mentioned before, I've, I've experienced it also. As in, somebody would call me at home. I say, "Yeah, Jamel, we have a we have a event today, or we have an event on Friday. I want you to come out and take pictures. You're the public relation person. You're the you're the photographer. And sometimes the the, the a heads up of what's going on in the committee is should be uh, should be known prior to the to the event because you don't want to have a, a good project and the committee head for that particular committee." mentioned to you at the last minute okay we want the media to show up here and within a day two days you, you can't get the media and if you do get them you might you might not get the ones that you want or you might not get the story how you want it so sometimes it's, it's, be it's better it's best not sometimes all the time it's best to reach out the, to the commit to the public and relation public relations committee chairperson as early as possible as soon as you start planning a project and weeks before the project because as i said 
you need to give the media sometimes two weeks, two, three weeks, sometimes longer notice. Agreed. Yeah, thanks, man. Hello. Thanks. Yes, hello, good night. I yes, just good night. wanted to, to go back to the comments about um, taking pictures of lions standing up laughing or taking them, um, um, I guess, at the meet and greet after where they're drinking and socializing. Um, I'm, 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 I got the message that we shouldn't be posting any such photos. But my thought is that it would depend on the purpose of, uh, of the posting, because you also don't want to have the public think that the only thing we do is work, work, work. Because if you're encouraging persons, to, you know, whether we want to join, you also have to demonstrate that at times we let our hair down. Whether or not, I mean, I'm not saying that we post alcoholic beverages and people are being outlandish, but I, I certainly think that it depends on what you're trying to convey that the, 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 those type of photos also have a place in the messages that you want to share with the public. Yeah, yeah, those those photos do have a place, but the, the, uh, for, we are first a service club. The other stuff comes after, but we are first a service a service club. I get more persons asking um, questions about how to join the Lions or about a specific project yeah. posted or online or that or was in the newspaper. We don't if even if you have a, we don't get we don't want the type of person that can come. Okay, I want to join Lions because I see the Lions having fun and drinking and what's not because when you have a project then you're not going to see these see these persons we, yes we want persons to join but we don't we, we don't only want uh lamers and drinkers to join the club we want a mixture a mixture of persons persons who can come out and put their hand in the dirt and who can do the heavy heavy lifting and, and packing and the greeting and what's not instead of just persons who can just come to the social events and 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 and, and just sit down and, and keep the foot lap and drink a drink we don't we just we want persons who are doing service Yes, I agree. I'm just saying there should be a balance. Yeah, yeah, there needs to, need to be a balance, but yes, I understand where you're coming from. Okay, Lion Jamal. Yes, Lion Carlos. Yes, Lion Carlos. Um, I support what Lion Dean said earlier as we go back to a drink or so, but more so on your chart tonight when you receive your MGF. I think that the photos that are going to the media shouldn't only be you in your nice suit or nice dress, but I think that it should be that you should be wearing your regalia. And I find that your charter next person just pose for the media and have their photos. But for me, when I received Melvin Jones Fellow, I asked for a break and I had my regalia with me and I had my photo wearing my regalia. And you know that in club, that I always say we should wear our regalia for your birthday. You, you post some photos there with persons receiving a prize or something in our club where we have our activity at the ending of acknowledgement of birthday or anniversary. And I will always say, and I try to push it in club, sorry that I didn't really get a lot of support, but I think that we should have our regalia on. So when we send those photos up, um, saying happy birthday or so, you will be wearing your regalia. And I think that we don't wear our regalia enough. We do <laughs> not wear regalia enough. Right now, uh, in our South Club, we're preparing care packages. And I go to the supermarket to purchase these items. And I wear my regalia to the supermarket to collect these items. And you'll be amazed to see how many people come up to me to find out, to know more. And then the respect that you receive and the courtesy from persons because I'm wearing my regalia. So when I'm at that supermarket, I do stand out among all the other persons that are there. So we do not wear regalia enough. And I always stress that in club, when you have an activity that you know the photos have to go far, we should wear our regalia, but we don't. So I support Dean in terms of sometimes, yes, you get some of those charter night activities in your glass, 
But I believe that it should be a point where we should be wearing our regalia as we celebrate. But often, as we celebrate, we don't wear our regalia. And it goes back also to our luncheon. We should be wearing our regalia among the persons who attend our luncheon. So they will say, well, okay, that's a lion there. So we do not wear our regalia enough. And I always stress that. Enough. That's it. We'll go to add that. Okay, thanks, Lion Carlos. Yes, Hello. good evening, Hello, Hello, evening Lion yes. Hazel from Church West. Hey, Lion Hazel, how are you doing? Um, yeah, congratulations. I really enjoyed your presentation. That's great to hear. Yes, um, I know one person that's gone beyond would have been glad to hear you. You know who that <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, she's looking down on you, really. Thanks. Um, I like to support Lion Carlos because... When we have functions, I get lashes for members of my club. We have a band concert. You should be able to tell the lions from the guests. But if they don't put on their regalia, how would people know who they are? And I think it's the Kiwanis that wear their regalia to every meeting. And lions ought to stand out with their regalia. And I agree, when you're making presentation or you're getting an award you should have on your regalia. I like to support that as well. If you're proud to be a lion, then wear your regalia. When I first joined Lions, when there was um, a club visit, you everybody used to wear regalia that has gone through the window. You know, like Carlos, um, you got an official visit, another club is coming. Everybody wear their, wore their regalia. Yeah, that, that's one of the, um, I've, I've heard that argument sometimes where if the visiting club wears the regalia, but the club that, that they're visiting, they don't need to wear regalia. So sometimes there's, been a, little, there's a little mix up there. Sometimes you might find one or two persons wearing a regalia, but at the end of the meeting, when we do um, presentations and, and tail twisting and raffles is another picture moment. So we, we miss out on, on the regalia when it comes to that, those type of events and activities. Larry Jamel? Yes, please. This is Larry Randy. Good, good evening, of course. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, um, I, I always, from the first day I met you, I knew that. I, I told you that great things are going to come from you. <laughs> <laughs> and today, today was one of the greatest things in terms of this presentation. That's, that's then, good to hear. Once again, I congratulate on you, Melvin Jones, and all that. But so much, um, also this presentation, because it was excellent. Um, okay. I, I want to support the person that went before, Blaine Corliss, Blaine um, Hazel, Blaine Dean, yourself in terms of the regalia. And y'all would know that. Listen, I used to be in my regalia, but everything. So much so yeah. that when I went to the tea party, the, the host club had to tell me, listen, take off that. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because I, I remember I remembered one one occasion you, um, I think it was your, it was your luncheon or something you were at, and you were the only lion in a regalia. And I, I found it strange. And, and when I spoke to Alison, which is his wife, she said, um, she's also a lion. She was like, because he's proud to be a lion. He wants everybody to know he's a lion. And he was the only person wearing uh, a regalia that day. And uh, furthermore, um, as you said before, I come from a marketing background, as you would know. Uh -huh. So, I mean, what is the best marketing in terms of the Lions Club? We have a big logo on our jackets. So everybody in the whole wide world knows that you're a lion once you're a winner every day. That's true. You, can, you can't can we yeah. do more better marketing than that. Yeah, these colors, right. these colors <laughs> do stand out. <laughs> these colors okay. do stand out. And yes, I, yes. Also, yeah. I also want to support your point also with the, um, that we should be you know, trying to mention our club name as much as possible when it comes to marketing. Because I think we don't do that enough. And especially, as you said, in interviews, you know, people will say, you know, we do this and I, and, and you know, the Lions do this. But if you keep saying your, your club name, it will stick out a lot more and you will get a lot more forward, as young people will call it, right? Last yeah. point I'm going to make is, Something that I learned when I was in um, Quick Start our, our organization a long time ago. Sales. Whenever they always tell you that every day, try to mention what you do to at least three persons. So anytime that you are around the place and you are you are thinking about you know you call yourself a marketing person, whether it's for layers or otherwise. 
you should try to at least mention sometimes throughout every single day to at least three persons your organization and what you do. And you will find that you will, you will gain so many members that you will believe that, you know, you will not know what to, what to do with them. <laughs> so if you're thinking about marketing, try to mention at least the three persons every day something about what you do in the organization. It's, it's, it's true. I think very yeah, work. Yes, Lance. Uh, I just want to indicate that the moderator is having some challenges with her internet. So oh. and Dan will drop off. So I will, will pick up the session. So I'm just checking to see if there are any other questions for Lane Janelle. Yes, please. Lane Sherwin? Yes, I was asking sure. if, there any, if there are any questions for, for you. The persons can either raise their hand or can indicate and ask their questions. Okay. But um, to, 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 further, to further mention, um, um, to, to emphasize on the point, then Randy mentioned just now, um, we're, we're, we're one of the places where we work, um, because I work in the industry, insurance and I'm working at an investment company and everyone knows that I'm a lawyer. Every year is like, okay, I didn't know I'm going to try to sell them a ticket for a fundraising activity or an event. I'm going to try to invite them someplace or to something the lens is having. I'm going to try to get some sort of a funding. I always try to, to go up and beyond. So they always know where, where I am now. They, it was like, what are the lions doing? What are the lions doing for um, St. Vincent? What, what, what happened? So they ask, they always ask some questions. So it, it's just, it's, it's like just make yourself known because if, if not for the, 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 if not for the pin and the regalia, other persons won't know who you are. But if you tell someone, you speak to someone, you invite them if someone's like, might go to dinner and while at the dinner, the dinner table, the, 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 the proprietor comes around, he speaks to persons and that'll be in a conversation. And, and he, and, and when I start to bring up um, service, he, he, he would then jump up and say, yeah, man, I, I, interested in, I interested in joining the club or joining a club. And I would just give him a number or, or just um, pass on um, some information to him. But um, the, the marketing, that, and that, when you look at it from that angle, you sort of help the, the fund, you're helping um, fundraising committee because you could, be, you could be getting your next donation and you could be help, helping the membership chairman because you could be finding potential members. So in, all in all, all the, all the committees need to work close to one, close with one another. Any other questions? No other questions for Elaine Jamel? Yes, please. Then, Jamal, I think that you seem to have done a very comprehensive job um, based on the comments that I'm seeing in the chat. Persons seem to be very pleased with the information that you have shared. And I like really, Randy, well, I probably was going to see it later, but I used to say, no, you made me continue to make me proud. So continue the excellent work. Yeah, I, I know you, you usually give me... Um give me good feedback after um, after any presentation that I've done when I was uh, president. You had um, good words for me when I when I um, made a presentation at my charge. You don't have to say that no. You don't always, have to say that no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why not? You have um, 100 lands, around 100 lands here, so take the, take the compliment. <laughs> yes, you're, you're, you're welcome, Angel, man. you're welcome. It's all part, part of the growth and encouragement, so I'm very proud that you stepped up to the plate Firstly, and then was able to, to provide a presentation that all, most persons are very receptive of and you shared some very excellent information. Obviously, you would have done your research and I believe based on the comments that I'm seeing here, that those persons responsible for marketing in their clubs now have a lot of information. So we should see a lot more marketing activity next year. Um, going forward, as more persons have indicated that they now have a, be a better understanding of the requirements for marketing, especially as we send out those press releases and as we take proper photographs and as we put information on social media. So that is great. All right, if there are no more questions. Yeah, sure, yes, sure, sure, yes, yeah. go um, A little thought, since, since I see we, we, we got some time, right? We, yes, um, we have some. We have some. We got time. some time. We, we got to use the lazy thing. The um, the Jamel, in terms of the something just crossed your mind, in terms of the clubs and lines and and we we, we join a partnership with, with with sponsors and so, um, or other other similar organizations and so, um, 
in terms, I don't think we, we really went into a lot of details as, as to how we can extract a lot of, of PR from that, you know, like if we, we join with the, the Heart and Stroke Foundation or, 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 or whoever, or even a, a supermarket or somebody that is sponsoring us, sponsoring an event, how, how do we, you know, extract some, some, some mileage from that? Because obviously, if they're going to give us something, um, if, if they're going to give us a donation, sometimes, yes, a, a picture with, with, with them holding the check makes it makes a difference. But if, let's say they, like if you, um, when you have the luncheon, if, if somebody sponsors you with thanks, you know, um, they, they would want their tanks to be displayed and, and, and that kind of stuff. Um, something they got the, 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 the banners and so. So I wonder if, if probably that's something that you, you want to expand on, on a, a little bit, because that's something obviously in terms of fundraising to, you know, more and more can be critical. The person might not just want to give you $500, but they may want to say, well, I'm going to come, um, I'm going to turn up and I want I want minutes of your time to, to, to introduce a product or I want something to go on display or whatever. Um, and obviously, that's where PR would come in. The PR and marketing, I believe, will come in. I know if you have any thoughts on that. Um, yes, please. Um, we, when, I could give you examples of South Club because that's where, where I am. But we have um, a few partnerships with, with, with different companies and what's not. And they maybe give out hands on a wrong Christmas time. Um, there's these, these companies, they reach out to us around Christmas every year and we give out hams in the community. We take pictures, they ask that we put pictures on Facebook and we have a picture, we put it in city newspaper. They just ask for ask to, to go with us maybe to deliver one or two of the, the, the hams. And then we have another organization, they, um, they, we, we packed Christmas hampers with them last year and they, they stepped aside when it came to, um, to to news. They was like, okay, we don't we don't really want that. Yes, we, we will take the, the when we have when let me stop. When we um when the information went into the newspaper, we would have seen yes, the motor hampers that we packed, we packed around sixty hampers, these massive ones, and the news article would have pointed out that we got it, we got donations from a particular business place. This same business place gives give us tents every year. Um, when we had a luncheon, we have um. We had the cars for a particular company in Barbados. They would have two or three cars, and they would park them next to the to the um to the tents. But um, I, I know with um with, with COVID and a lot of businesses not willing to, to spend money like before is is a is a is a hard task. And I, I believe trying to find a, a, a mix. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put your your stamp or or your business logo on all our tickets. Are we gonna mention your name or at the beginning or the end of the function? We're gonna mention all the sponsors, which should which should be done. If you go to a presentation, they usually mention all the persons who would who would donate items on be on and, and, and what's not. But it's, it's something that is based based on the club and based on in, individuals in the club. You got some persons who are business minded who might. Who might push that direction, but it's based on the on the club. Yes, oh. I see. I see. Lane Beatrice fan raised. <laughs> uh, hi, I that's that, like that's your <laughs> boss coming in to to, come, to, to help you. Yeah, um. <laughs> in addition, I was just going to make a comment on the query they had when you spawn when you have an activity that is sponsored by another agency. One of the things you can do is have the interview. If there's somebody representing the company, you interview them. So you interview them and a lion and you use that to market it. So that's another avenue. Yes, yeah. And I just want to tell Jamel, you did our commission proud. We're very proud of you. Very good presentation. Yes, that's great to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions or comments yes. or... Oh, Lion Jabal, I, my hand is not raised, but I was in already, but I just wanted to back in this Lion Cordis. You're, you're sponsoring now, Lion Jamal, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I want to add to what Lion Jamal has said uh, in terms even to as like how you include a sponsor for our regular lunches, which um, hold a little bit because of COVID. And as I would try to solicit donations, um, strong agencies is one of my people in terms of cola tonic. Okay. Everyone know I. Everyone know that I love cola tonic, and I'm telling you, I'm a great seller 
of course, I've done it for Armstrong agencies. But basically what I would do at our luncheon is to interview persons who come to the luncheon and have photos of persons having pouring the cola tonic, drinking it, seeing some comment, going to the bar and taking photos of the persons in the bar serving the cola tonic. And I will send these photos to Armstrong Agency so that they can see that it's not only Len Cordes partaking in the Cola Tonic, but it's a variety, a very section of people, wide range of people. And I will have all my regalia at the luncheon doing this promotion, even though I am at the luncheon. So at a point in time, I have all my regalia, at a point in time, I take it off. But when I'm trying to promote the Cola Tonic as they are part of us, of giving us the color tonic, and we do a good job because we get feedback. And then, you know, you would know that we are doing a good job in that promotion because it's like, we don't have a problem getting the donation when it comes to our luncheon. So I can understand, yes, you have to still push the sponsor in time when you can, you should push your sponsor. So yeah. that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I um, to add to that, I, re I remember um, maybe two years on a row, you forcing me to take pictures when I wanted to, to relax and have a drink. But I, I remember taking those pictures for you. And we posted them on Facebook. And, I, and, the, and also, you, uh, you put a, uh, I think it was a comment referring to the sponsors also. Yes. And, and also a video of you pouring and the person drinking uh, some of the same cola tonic that you would have sourced through um, the yeah. same arm, arm strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lions, I think you've had some very healthy, healthy discussion. And then Jamel, on behalf of just give me one minute. I need to bring no up something here. Yes. So on behalf of the District 60B Global Leadership Team, we want to present to you this certificate of appreciation and recognition of your participation on the club marketing and communication to the incoming school offices school virtual, virtual edition. So we will also mail this to you so you can have, have it as your record. I want to take the opportunity now to ask Elaine Adora Prevel Warner from the Lions Club of St. Kitts to move the vote of thanks. Good evening, distinguished Lions, Leos, my fellow Lions. I deem it a great honor and privilege to be given the opportunity to give the vote of thanks at this, our sixth training session on communication and marketing. Let me first of all start by giving glory to God for making today's training session a resounding success. To Lion Dolores Hodge, PZC, MJF for invoking God's blessings on the proceedings. Our moderators, Lion Diane, Diana Angle, and Lion Shoin, thank you for your efforts from our global leadership mm -hmm. team. And on behalf of the district, I would like to thank our presenter, Lion Jamel Scott, MJF, for your dynamic, captivating, informative presentation. And from your presentation, we took off those four Ws and that one H who, what, where, why, and how. You also gave us some homework with all those icons, some of which we are not too sure what they are, but thank you so much. Much food for thought. A hearty thank you to all the Leos and Lions who took time off of the busy schedule to attend this workshop. A special thanks to the organizing committee Job well done. 
As we stated in most of our other training sessions, we realize that most of our clubs are reporting a resounding 97%. I leave you with this thought. We are a resilient people. COVID-19 taught us one thing, we can do anything. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you, Elena Dora. And thank you, Lions, for Thanks. making it to our seventh session, I believe.